Welcome back guys. Welcome back to my page, Ronnie Rice, Get Rice Now. That's G-E-T-R-I-C-E-N-O-W. So I talked about doing two videos a week, so now I'm doing three videos a week. You no, know, I'm not killing myself. What I'm doing is simply this. I'm talking about three different subjects. One is law, one is business, and one is motivation. And some people might think two of those things are not different, but they're all three different, differently for me. So uh, this video is actually going to be about business. So what the talk about today's discussion is going to be customer service, the lifeblood of the company. One of the things that I feel like a lot of people just miss out on life in business, where you're a small business, solo, solo company, or a large corporation, they forget about customer service. I can't tell you how many times I've read in books, I experienced it with myself, that customer service, whether it takes a short period of time or a long period of time, to that kills the company. And what I mean by that, think about it. Take Blockbuster, take Hollywood videos, take, uh, you could say Sprint and T-Mobile merging, which we all know T-Mobile bought, bought on Sprint. And guys, I'm not trying to crap on Sprint. Not trying to crap on blockbusters, you know, rest in peace, <laughs> uh, blockbuster. But I think what we all talk about, but don't necessarily put in practice in our own business and our own personal lives, is customer service. And you know, it's simple for me. What is customer service? Customer service is a client or customer's experience with your company. So. Let's talk about Blockbuster. How many times did you receive a large bill because you were late returning video? So what happened? You had Redbox. Redbox said, hey, you know, you keep the video, the, the DVD as long as possible. And then Netflix came and Netflix says, hey, we're going to just provide this all to you just for a low monthly subscription. So if you just think about it, Netflix and Redbox basically capitalized on Blockbuster's bad customer service. Um, I, and, I, and I could be wrong, but I think Blockbuster had the opportunity to buy Redbox and Netflix. I, you might want to fact check me on that. But, which, you know, you fast forward a couple years now, a few years from now, look where Blockbuster is. So, I tell people all the time, please focus on your customer service. What's the point of doing huge marketing ads, whole huge PR ads, TV, billboards, radio, you know, Super Bowl commercials, whatever it is that you want to call it and not have the customer service in place. Because guess what? If you have bad customer service, what's going to happen every time somebody sees your video? What's going to happen every time somebody sees your, your Facebook ad or whatever? They're going to think about that bad experience. And guess what they're going to do when they think about that bad experience? They're going to tell someone else about that bad experience. So for me, customer service is very simple. Answer a phone. If you can't answer a phone, respond in a timely fashion. If you can't respond in a timely fashion, you can always send a text message or email. Or just do a simple weekly or bi-monthly update on whatever it is that your clients have an issue with, period. The only time a client hears from me should not be about a bill, okay? We all know that life is, is a costly thing. Nothing in this world is for free. But at the same time, how would you feel if the only time that your kids or your parents or your siblings called you was for money? And this, if you take your time and go to a video I did last week, I say treat your, your, your clients, your customers like family. Now, obviously, you're not going to invite everybody to your home. You're not going to invite everybody to your, you know, your church or what have you or to a picnic. But at the same time, the same characteristics or the pleasantries that you would like somebody to extend to your mom or to your sister, your brother or your, your children, you need to extend that to your client, your customer. So how do you maintain customer service? And I like, you know, what uh, Warbly Parker talks about customer experience not customer service, customer experience. How do you maintain it? Listen to your customers. How do you listen to them? One easy way, when they call, <laughs> listen to them, okay? Write down notes. You always hear people talk about, or you always talk about companies, hear customer, co companies, excuse me, talk about recorded, this this phone call might be on the recorded line. Okay, cool. So what are you doing with the recorded line, okay? 
it, are you just putting it in a database so far off in La La Land and nobody from vice president of customer service never reads it or hears it or does the transcription or even, hey, even if they hear it, do they actually implement change? <laughs> you know, what's the whole point? Another way that you can listen to your customers, emails. If you don't, if you cannot handle the volume of calls, just put an email opportunity on your Facebook or your or your website. Email, text. I'm a fan of texting. Uh, it's a large group of theories out there that people are more uh, people are more fan of texting and text response than they are with email. You know, tomato tomato. So for me, I would suggest you know text message model. Third thing I would say is social media. I cannot preach this enough. If you don't have a social media account and you have a business or you're trying to start some type of small business or your large corporation, you're uh, you are crazy. You're a crazy person. Social media accounts are free. Now, you do have to be producing some type of content, uh, whether it's your hour operate, hour, hours of operation or whether you're doing a special or you know email, newsletter, whatever it is, you need to have that social media account one because it's just a simple thing to do but also two it gives a way for your clients to tell you how, what they think about your product or your services how many times have you seen an employee that's on a on their phone while they're at, the, at work scrolling through facebook or instagram or TikTok or whatever and if they see your page or they see your profile or they see a post of yours guess what it's easy for them just to hit a button and say, hey, I don't like your glasses or I don't like your services or can you call me back? Me as a lawyer and a business owner, I get I get messages all the time on social media and I've just learned I learned to adapt. I know a lot of old school lawyers who are just like they're not getting on social media. They're not going to. They're not. That's for new age. Hey, it's not for new age. It's the age. And if you don't watch it, it definitely pass you by. Uh, another way to listen to your customers, Google reviews and Better Business, Better Business Bureau. Um, I mean, BBB, Triple B, how you want to call it, is very essential to business development because they kind of tells you what your clients are going, what they're thinking about you. Most time, if you get a review on Better Business Bureau, it's about something bad. So I have the tendency to don't like it. However, they do do a great, a huge follow up. So. Uh, if you get a complaint, what they do is they email you or whoever your partner contact is and see your letter say, hey, you get a chance to respond. They'll put a form of response, yada, yada, yada. So, you know, it's there you go. Google reviews. How many times do you travel out of, out of the country or travel out of town and you're trying to find a good restaurant, trying to find a great bar, trying to find a great church, you're trying to do whatever it is and you go in there and you read the Yelp reviews and you read the Google reviews. So my thing is to you is make make sure you invest in having a Google like geotag and all, uh, off hours operation, the phone number, website, yada, yada, yada. Uh, some people charge, I think, anywhere from $500,000 to do that. I think it's a small investment. If you take, let's say it's $1,000, take $1,000 and you divide it by 12 months, that's a little less than $100 a month. And it helps people find you. So I would definitely tell you to do that. So what about the cost? So all this stuff sounds good, right? But what's the cost of customer service? Right. Here's the thing. We can talk about the the direct hard costs right now. How many folks do you have to have an intake and how many people you have to have to respond to emails and how many people you have to have blah blah. blah. That cost is minimal. It's minimal when it comes to your brand, when it comes to pushing you for the long haul. I always ask people, if you would have asked Blockbuster 30 years ago, who would be on the top in regards to video? Video production, video streaming, whatever you want to kind of term you want to use, they would have said undoubtedly Blockbuster. But because they wasn't in tune with some of the customer service complaints and really just didn't adapt, they left in the dust. Uh, so my, my thing to you, just because you're on the Fortune 500 question, 500, Fortune 500, list today does not mean that you'd be there tomorrow bad customer service can determine if you have a long or short shelf life i hope you guys like this content that, I, that i'm providing please feel free to follow me on on all of my social media accounts 
That is Get Rice Now, that's G E T R I C E N O W, or log on to my website, that's www.ronnieorice.com. Don't say ronnierice.com because that's this guy, he's like a bluegrass singer. I like him, I actually listen to some of his music. But you look for me, it's Ronnie O. Rice. Of course, my middle name is Ronnie O'Brien Rice. So uh, look me up on there. Feel free to text me at 205 222 9815. Or you can send me a DM. Uh, I'm always on my, I'm not always on my phone, uh, but you can always send me a personal message. I try to get back with these in 24 to 48 hours. And that's that's who, that's me responding personally. So once again, customer service, the lifeblood of your company. Find out what, it, what customer service, what customer experience means to you. Maintain that customer service experience and know that the cost is well worth it because it's about the long haul, not the short game. You guys have a great day. Be blessed.